19. <sighs> 20. I Howdy y'all, this is Robbie Crawford with another Game Tip Tuesday where the games are made simple and fun is had by all. We have with us the founder of Generate by YM360 here with us, good Raj. Pressure, good pressure. Uh, Raj, the people at home want to get to know you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a fun, interesting fact. A fun, interesting fact. Well, when I was a kid, uh, like 14, 15 years old, I was actually a dancer on a TV show. Really? How about that? The show is called Jammin'. It was kind of a regional Texas show. Sonny Melendrez, I still remember the host. Wow. This was like way back in the 80s, like when people would wear like white pants and, you know, no socks. And well, actually, a lot of people still do that today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is awesome. That is so cool. I did not know you had the, the dancing feet. Uh, well, I probably don't do as much of that nowadays. <laughs> Gone, Long time ago. Gone full bad. You do a lot when you're 14 uh, and 15 years old, as you know, working with students. That's fair. That's fair. So, uh, Raj, you know this better than most people here in the office. When you're running games, you never know what's coming around the corner. So there's always surprises you have to deal with. Yeah. And here it's kind of like leadership in general. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> right. So here at YM360's Game Tube Tuesday, we do a surprise question for our guests. Okay. And so it's always random, but we'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on this question. So here is your question. Are you ready? I'm ready. In a setting where both could operate normally, who wins in a fight between a bear and a shark? A bear and a shark. You know what? I actually, my kids and I, we've been talking a lot about this. You know, you've seen Shark Week and different things like that. So shark. um, sharks are extremely intimidating, extremely fast in the water, um, but they obviously have a tendency to strike and run okay. um, or swim. I guess sharks don't yeah, really you know, run. But, but bears... I mean, that's a little tough because yeah. just the environment. So I think if we're dealing with a shark and a bear, yeah. um, I'm going to go with a bear is going to win. Okay. But just I, barely. <laughs> I love it. We're all about the puttons here at Game Tip Tuesday. So, uh, Raj, fantastic choice. I love it. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Let us know below. Now, here's our game this week. It is called Dumb Duck. Dumb Duck, the way it works is that we have this wonderful duck on the screen, and there's a zero here. This number can go up to 20, and we are going to guess how far up we can go for the duck to keep quacking. So let's say we went to six, we would the duck would start, the number would go up to six, and when it goes through it, at some point... Is that a point, two? That is a two. Or a seven a, wing. Yeah. You, for your Enneagram knows? people, uh, is that a seven wing? Yeah, a two, I love it, I love it. <laughs> uh, so the duck barks, you heard it on two, which means that... Whoever was the one counting up to that number, they get a point. Whoever was the least amount of points, or wins, least amount of points wins. Uh, and the number goes up to 20. So we're going to go back and forth, stating how safe we think we can get. Sound good? Sure. So, uh, first person to get barked at twice loses and has to eat these wonderful fish steaks coated in Louisiana hot sauce. So, it's going to be fantastic. Here we go. Raj, you're the guest. I don't even eat buffalo wings. Like... I can't do buffalo wings. So we'll, we'll see how this Probably goes. not my favorite way to do student ministry right here. Hey, but I appreciate you for being a good sport and coming on the show regardless. Well, that's yet to be seen. Which is tip number one of the day is be ready to achieve the impossible. Be ready to step outside your comfort zone, especially when it comes to games, is your first tip. So here we go. Would you rather, as the guest, would you rather be the first one to give a number or the second one? I'll let you decide. Uh, so I'm going to pick a number. And we're going to go up to that number. And as long as it doesn't bark between? Between those two, then I'll have a chance to add on to and that. And so is it the first time I lose, the loser eats something? Or is no, it, no, it's no. Round it's of three? it's at the, after the round of three. Gotcha. Only one person's going to so, eat. So there's a snack. rubber match, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. So, All right. uh, so would you rather be the one to give the first number, or would you rather me give I'll the I'll let number? you give the first number. Okay. I think we can go up to seven. I think we can go up to seven. Biblical we'll number safe. of completion. Yeah, exactly. Actually, that was the number I was going to pick. Perfect. So let's see if you should have gone first then. Uh, so we're listening. All right. So we're safe. So how much higher do you think we can go? Uh, I'm going to go, But which by the way, I don't know if we've told you about these in these games. You can rig the game. <laughs> You know, so I'm quite confident our team has already um, worked on this, especially because I can see the people behind the camera here. I'm going to go seven and a half. Well, not an option. Okay, uh, then I'm going to go eight. Okay. Ooh, I think, praise the Lord. I think we can go to 12. Whew, whew. 
I'm going to go to 14. 14. Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, so we've both gotten two, right? Well, it's not that we've gotten it right. No. We're, we're working to 20. One of us is going to get barked Oh, here. okay. Uh, okay. So, so this is just I, the round one in the yeah, game. Yeah, round one, round one. So I'm going to go. I thought I'd already had two 15, times. Uh, 15. All right, there you go. So I got barked at first. Uh, so that's, mm. that is that uh, is a point for me. So it's your point turn. You. Yeah. All right, I will go with um, three. All right, three. Uh, I'm going to go nine. I'm going to go 11. All right. Tip number two of the day is make sure you move through it quickly. That way you keep the pace of the game going. Pace is everything when it comes to games. Uh, I'm going to go 13. We're going to go 15. Please, no, 16. Well, I'll go 17 then. 18. 19. <sighs> 20. I will oh. also tell you this on your Game Tip Tuesday. It's not about the rules. It's how you play the game as well. That is, that is a great, that is a great, Roger with the first one to give the third tip of the day. <laughs> that is awesome. It's all about how you play the game. And so with that, I've lost twice, which means I will be eating this wonderful prize. You've gotten off without having to eat. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to actually, while you do that. I, I'm going to eat this fish. I can't You're prepared, gonna I'm going to eat fish? Swedish fish because, okay. you know, I think it would be even better. Fantastic. If, you know, I don't want you to have to eat alone. That's and that's a kind soul. That's a kind soul. Praise okay. the Lord, by the way. They're covered in what kind of sauce? Louisiana hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce. How about all you Louisiana churches out there? For you, this is going to be nothing. This is but nothing at the same time. Everything. Uh, so uh, here is to the dum duck nope. and uh, Swedish, Swedish fish. fish everywhere. Swedish fish everywhere. Mm. I'm going to Swedish fish with a little hot sauce. Mm. It's not good. Mm. Mm. These are excellent. The Majorabi shirt. Did not enjoy that. Guys, Raj, thank you so much for coming on for Game Tip Tuesday. I have to come on again uh, and once again beat me in another game. It'd be fantastic. So thank you guys for coming. Hope you guys enjoyed Game Tip Tuesday where the games are made simple and fun is had by all. See you soon. See y'all.